Hello, my name is Ali Elham. I'm professor of aircraft design in the Institute of Aircraft Design and Lightweight Structures here at Tew Branchway. If you ask philosophers whether it's possible or not to have something out of nothing, they will most likely tell you no. However, in this video, I'm going to show you why the future transport aircraft should come out of nothing and how we are going to make it happen. To preserve our environment, we are facing a serious challenge to reduce the energy consumption as well as the emission produced by airplanes. Now, the aviation industries are asked to design airplanes by 2050 that have 75% less CO2 and 90% less NOx compared to the airplane flying in the year 2000. If you look at the latest two aircraft model of the Boeing company, the Boeing 777 and the Boeing 787 and compare them in emission, you will see that the Boeing 787 has only 12% less CO2 and only 35% less NOx compared to the previous aircraft. But now we are asked to design airplanes which have 75% less CO2 and 90% less NOx. We can see that with this rate of improvement, we cannot achieve this goal by 2050. What to do then? If we look at the history of civil aviation, we can see there were two jumps in the performance of transport aircraft in the last century. These two jumps were due to the introduction of new technologies like jet engines or pressurized cabin or fly-by-wire control system. Now we know that if we want to get to the targets of 2050, we need the third jump in the performance of aircraft in the history of civil aviation. But how? Well, there are a few suggestions. New technologies like active load alleviation, active flow control, boundary layers ingestion, or electric or hybrid electric aircraft are examples of these new technologies that can help us to get to this third jump in the history of civil aviation. Now there is a question. We want to put together all these new technologies into a flying airplane. How should this future airplane look like? If you look at the passenger aircraft produced so far, you can see they all look the same. They all have a tube as a fuselage, two wings at the middle, and two horizontal tail and one vertical tail at the end. However, if we want to reach the targets of 2050, beside the novel technologies, we have to take advantages of novel configurations. Novel configurations like blended big body, large swing, or forward swing wing. Well, we call them novel configurations. However, if you look at the history of aviation, you can see these novel configurations have been flying decades ago. The reason that they were not successful in that time was that the technologies to support such radical designs were not yet available. But today, we have these technologies, so we can realize the dream. But there is still one issue to resolve. How to design airplanes with novel configurations and novel technologies? Now we want to design novel aircraft with novel configurations and novel technologies. So I think we also need a novel design methodology. This novel design methodology is the so-called multidisciplinary design optimization or in short MDO. In an aircraft design using an MDO technique, we try to combine numerical optimization methods with high-fidelity physics-based simulation to find the optimum solution of the design problem. In such an approach, first, we try to use physics-based analysis as much as possible to get rid of empirical and statistical method, and secondly, we try to use an optimization technique to find at least a local optima. Such a design should be much better than a design done by normal manual methods. Here in Branchwijk and also in some other universities and research centers around the world, we are working hard to develop advanced MDO-based design methods and tools to support the design of the next generation of transport aircraft. We work on developing numerical methods for computational fluid dynamics as well as computational solid mechanics, combining the fluid and solid together and simulate their interaction. Also, we work on developing advanced numerical optimization methods to solve different optimization problems. This is really a cool topic and I really enjoy doing it. But let's face a serious issue. 
In the current MDO-based aircraft design research, we start the optimization with a given configuration, then we try to improve it by modifying the shape, internal structure, and sometimes the operational scenarios. However, how should the aircraft look like in general? I mean, how should we choose the configuration at the beginning? This is an article published in 2012 from the Stanford University. They used the probability theory to generate enormous number of different configurations simply using a few seated ones. They applied it to airplanes, also to construction machines, to ships, and even to creatures. So, when simply using probability theory, we can generate so many different configurations, how to choose one? So far, the choice of configuration has been a pure human-driven task. Designers, based on their creativity and experience, used to suggest a couple of different configurations, and each of them has its own pros and cons. Which one is the best? We don't know. And even if we can compare all of them to each other and find the best configurations, it doesn't mean that there is no other configuration that is better than this one. So, if we want to resolve the issue of configurations once and for all, we have to answer this question. Is there an optimum configuration that we can find? Or in other words, if we want to transport a given amount of payload over a given amount of distance, using the current and available technologies, how should the flying vehicle look like to minimize the energy consumption? To answer this question, I have to first ask another question. Look at these two airplanes. If you ask me, is there an MDO-based design tool which can start the design optimization with this configuration and end it with this one, I have to say no. None of the available MDO tools can change the configuration during the design optimization. Why? It's no launch time. Let us have the launch first and then I will answer this question. I want to ask you a question. What is the difference between a donut and a muffin? Well, we can discuss about the taste. However, consider this. Assume this muffin is extremely flexible, so you can deform it into any shape you want. Is it possible to change it into a donut just by deforming? No, we cannot do that. If you want to change a muffin into a donut, we need to either make a hole in it or stretch it and glue it from the two ends. So, I ask my question again, what is the difference between a donut and a muffin? If you ask this question from mathematicians, they will tell us they are different in topology. So, in simple words, if two objects are different in topology, we cannot simply change one into the other just by deforming. Let's go back to my office, I will tell you something about airplanes. Now, back to our airplanes. You can see now why we cannot so easily change the configuration during the optimization. The difference in configuration means difference in topology. So, to be able to optimize the configuration, we have to be able to optimize the topology of aircraft. Topology optimization is nothing new in engineering. A structural topology optimization has been introduced a few decades ago. There is still a lot of ongoing research on this topic, however, the foundation is known. On the other hand, aerodynamic topology optimization in external flow in high-speed regime like the flying speed of passenger aircraft is still a big challenge. Now, I want to talk about something new. If we want to find the optimum configuration of flying vehicle, we have to do multidisciplinary topology optimization. I mean, we have to perform an optimization in which the optimum topology of the external shape together with the optimum topology of the internal structure can be found at the same time. That's the only way to find the optimum configuration or in better word, the optimum topology of a flying vehicle. If we can do so, we can simply start the design with an empty control volume in an airflow and then the topology optimization tool should be able to generate the optimum configuration of the flying vehicle for us, an aircraft from nothing indeed. What will it look like? Nobody knows. It might look like one of the already suggested configurations 
or it could look like a surprise configuration, something that we have never thought about before. My research team at Geo Branchwag is working hard to develop knowledge, tools and methodologies we need to find the optimum topology of transport aircraft. Of course, it's not something to achieve in a very short time, but it's our final goal. We are working hard on developing advanced multidisciplinary design optimization as well as multidisciplinary topology optimization to support the design of future aircraft. I teach a couple of graduate level courses on multidisciplinary design optimization, topology optimization, and advanced aircraft design to train the students to join our research team. Would you like to be part of this amazing journey to find the optimum topology of transport flying vehicle? Join us. We need smart and creative minds like you here.